Hello. As anyone who has changed their DNS settings in order to access the US, Netflix knows once in a while there ends up being um, little things that have to be troubleshooted or troubleshot uh, to make sure that everything works properly. Um, the first one, of course, is an obvious and probably not what's going on, but uh, just to double check the numbers that you've entered. I know I make mistakes, and uh, once in a while that can be, but likely that's not what's going on. Uh, the second is to try another different. Uh, try a different D DNS code. Once in a while, of course, the codes don't work, they get shut down. Uh, the reason why we're putting out this video is it seems that there's a whole lot that we had listed that all of a sudden just don't work anymore. Um, so we decided to show this troubleshoot troubleshooting thing as well as on our uh, video that we'll show later, um, or sorry, that we have a link to later that shows how to get the US Netflix. We've got all the proper DNS codes on that, and that link is coming up a bit later in the video. Um, but if you tried one and it doesn't work, please leave a message saying uh, where you were and uh, which one didn't work, just so that other people can see what's going on. It also allows us to help uh, to try to figure out whether um, the issue is with the DNS settings or if it might be something that needs to be troubleshot, uh, shot, I don't know, uh, here. Um, because once in a while we've had people that have said that uh, they've tried tried a code, it doesn't work. And we, we had like about, I think like 15 different codes and they didn't realize that that was in the description uh, at the time. So um, we've been able to, of course, comment back to them, did you try one of the other codes? And if they said yes, then uh, it was odd that all of the codes wouldn't work because at that point, like even all, like some of the codes still worked actually from our last bit, but uh, just not as many. Um, so it allowed us to contact them and, and try to walk them through to make sure that they can get the Netflix. We like to help if we can with anything we do here. And uh, we usually respond pretty quickly. Okay, uh, the third one uh, is restarting your gaming system. Uh, the fourth is deleting the Netflix app and reinstalling it. I, I find the app gets confused sometimes. Uh, when you're changing your accounts and that, or at least that's something I've noticed here with our PS4. Uh, and the fifth one, uh, log out of, of Netflix on every device. Uh, one weekend, I don't know, I I'm, couldn't figure out what was going on. I went through all my normal things that I would do to troubleshoot and couldn't figure it out. Um, we were logged in both, well, with our PS3, PS4, and on the computer. Not that they were all running, but they were all logged in on it. Um, and uh, once I got them all logged out, it was no problem getting back into the PS4 with the uh, um, with the US Netflix. That's not an issue I've ever had with the PS3 though, but that did fix that, so I thought I'd uh, put that out there as well. Um, okay, so there are some less likely things that, that we found online that I've already gone through um, on, on our setup that I've never seen as a problem, but then again, maybe it's that I fixed it in advance or whatever. But uh, of course, like uh, turning off and unplugging the router, like there is issues with the routers once in a while. Uh, the second one and third ones are the ones that we've done. Uh, we've uh, changed the lease time uh, and the DHCP settings on our router just to make sure that there's open communication with them. Like I said, I, I don't really, I haven't really found that that was an issue, but then again, we'd already done it, so maybe it was and it just never was an issue for us. And of course, uh, setting up port forwarding. Um, again, I, I don't really, I, I don't find with the PlayStation 4, you really have to do that. I know they suggest that with things like gaming and all that to make it a bit more convenient. Uh, for the for communication between the two, but I don't really unless there's something really odd with your router I really don't think that's an issue because these gaming devices are set up that that shouldn't be an issue because they don't want things to be too complicated for us and not want to play Okay, a couple other issues that we've found um, With the PlayStation Network anyway um, Changing like we've got a couple different accounts here uh, Sometimes one of them will ha seem to when we log on with one will only allow for the Canadian uh, Netflix and the other one will allow for the American one. No idea why that happens. I actually like it when that happens because it makes it easier to switch from the Canadian to the American. We just have to switch accounts. Uh, but not figure out for the life of me uh, why that happens because it's still the same DNS settings. Uh, something's going on there. Uh, it could be Maybe it's uh, Sony trying to figure out a way of stop preventing this end around. Who knows? Um, the other one is uh, um, the terms of agreement. Uh, once in a while, Sony will get you to uh, re-sign your terms of agreement with the PlayStation Network. And it seems that I've, I've found until that gets signed, um, you can't uh, seem to 
get into the US Netflix. And sometimes that's not even presented as an option right away. It, it'll be like, I've, I'll be working at it for a couple of days going like, why'd this stop? And then all of a sudden the terms of agreement thing pops up, like, uh, or like uh, having to do update the firmware and then boom, everything's fine. Like, like seconds after I do that. So just thought I'd throw that out there. And down below you'll see the little flashing thing, or whatever, that's the link to show the video um, for how to set this all up in the first place. Um, and usually we have, like, if we have the DNS settings updated, they're usually updated there first before, like, I'm going to put them in the description here as well, uh, but usually that's what's going on there. Um, and like, as always, uh, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, uh, please like it. Uh, subscribe if you want. And uh, we've got some other channels down below that you may want to check out. Uh, yeah, who knows, maybe you don't. Either way, I uh, hope you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.